hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i make this delicious chicken gravy now this gravy is so flavorful and yet so easy to make and the best thing is that it comes together in less than 30 minutes so if you want to know how i make it then please keep watching and while you're at it don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that Now for this recipe, we're going to be using two chicken leg quarters that I have already washed and cut into two, so I have four pieces here. And to marinate, I'm going to be using two teaspoons of chili flakes, two teaspoons of paprika powder, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of parsley flakes, one seasoning cube, and some salt, of course. And then I'll just place my chicken into the bag and I'll begin to massage. You can always use whatever spices or chicken seasonings that you have at home. You can also add some cooking oil to help the seasoning stick to the chicken, but that's actually optional. All you have to do next is to make sure you massage your chicken properly with the spices to make sure everywhere is evenly coated. In this bowl, I have some all-purpose flour and I'm going to perfectly coat the chicken with it for that smothered chicken effect. Next, I'm going to drench the already marinated chicken in the flour and I'll tap off any excess. Now, this recipe will give you the best smothered chicken you've ever had. It uses this special technique and trust me, you're going to keep wanting to make this for your family and friends. This recipe will also give you a perfectly seasoned chicken with a rich and smooth gravy with lots of flavor. Now that I'm done coating my chicken, we'll go over to the next step. Heading over to my pan. In my pan, I'll heat up some cooking oil. And once the oil is hot enough, I'll gently place my chicken one at a time. If you're still watching, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Please take a moment to do so, so you don't miss any of my amazing recipes. When the bottom of the chicken turns golden brown, I'm just going to flip over to the other side and cook until it turns golden brown as well. Now guys, look at that beautiful color. Next, I'll remove the chicken one at a time from the oil and we'll complete the cooking process in our gravy. The next step is to add some sliced onion and some garlic into the oil and I'm going to stir to combine. I'm going to fry them for about 2 minutes or until the onion starts getting soft. Now I'd just like to add that any type of meat can be used for this recipe including beef, turkey or chicken breast. Now that my onions have started getting soft, I'll add some green and red bell peppers. Now this is actually optional but I had them in my fridge so why not. I'll let that cook for about 2 minutes so it becomes soft and fragrant as well. You can also add some finely chopped carrot to this recipe to enhance the flavor. While that was cooking, I added about 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I'm going to cook this for about 3 minutes on medium heat. 
now there are actually other ways of making gravy but this is a very easy and simple way so i'm just going to keep stirring while my flour is cooking now if you don't cook your flour your gravy is going to turn out with a flour taste and we don't want that the next step is to start adding your water and keep stirring now it's going to start getting thicker and thicker and all you need to do is to keep stirring now this is a perfect time to add any seasoning of your choice and i'm adding some cayenne pepper for some heat some dried parsley and of course some salt then i'll just continue stirring the more liquid you add the thinner your gravy is going to be I'm just going to stir for a bit and cook on medium heat and let the flavors come together. Next, I'm going to add some milk, but this is actually optional. You can leave it out of the recipe if you don't like it, but I love it. I'm going to reduce the heat and stir until it begins to simmer now look at that guys it looks so nice and creamy i'm sure you agree with me right now that my gravy has started to simmer i'm going to add my chicken in my pan to complete the cooking process and once i'm done i'll cover and let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the chicken is completely cooked but don't forget to stir occasionally now halfway through the cooking i came to stir my chicken and i made sure to scoop some of that deliciousness on top of the chicken so that the chicken absorbs it all and once i'm done stirring and scooping i'm going to cover so that the chicken is perfectly cooked and after that your smothered chicken with a perfect creamy gravy is ready to be served now this is the perfect consistency that i love my gravy now there you have it guys a delicious homemade gravy that everyone will enjoy you can serve this over fluffy white rice you can pair it with some mashed potatoes you can serve it on top of a slice of thick cut bread you can also serve it over mac and cheese for the ultimate comfort food There are actually so many ways you can have this gravy but I decided to serve mine with some fluffy white rice and some sweet corn and I'm telling you guys this tasted so good. Thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and I hope you will give it a try because this is so good. It's so delicious and the meat just melts in your mouth. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe with your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my amazing recipes and also like the video if you haven't already done that. You can also check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them interesting. Until my next one, bye.